Welcome to another episode from the Veterinary Medicine Digest. Feline Temporal Lobe Epilepsy, or TLE, is a unique syndrome characterized by specific clinical signs linked to the brain's temporal lobe, particularly the hippocampus. While not an etiological category itself, it describes a set of symptoms observed in cats. Research dating back to the 1930s established the epileptogenic potential of these brain structures. Cats with TLE often exhibit characteristic orofacial automatisms, such as lip smacking, facial twitching, chewing, gagging, tongue movement, and excessive salivation. These ictal, or seizure-related, signs can progress through a six-stage system, from subtle attention changes to generalized convulsive seizures, though not all cases reach the final stages. The hippocampus is particularly vulnerable, being both susceptible to and capable of generating epileptic discharges, which can lead to hippocampal necrosis and later sclerosis. Diagnosis is supported by characteristic clinical signs and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, of the brain, which often reveals signal intensity changes in the hippocampus consistent with necrosis or sclerosis. Histopathological examination is definitive, identifying pan-necrosis of neurons and glial cells or selective neuronal loss and astroliosis. A specific cause of TLE is autoimmune limbic encephalitis, AE, often associated with antibodies against voltage-gated potassium channel complex proteins, particularly leucine-rich glioma-inactivated 1, LGI1. A pilot study found these antibodies in a significant proportion of cats with complex partial seizures and orofacial involvement. Interestingly, standard diagnostic workups, including MRI and cerebrospinal fluid analysis, can often appear unremarkable in these cases, similar to human AE. Treatment involves anti-seizure medications like phenobarbital and levetiracetam, and sometimes immunotherapy with prednisolone. Prognosis can be favorable for cats that survive the acute phase, with many achieving good seizure control and quality of life. In contrast, feline orofacial pain syndrome, FPS, is primarily a pain disorder, not an epileptic one, predominantly seen in Burmese cats, suggesting a hereditary component. Affected cats show signs of acute oral discomfort, and alarmingly, self-mutilation of the tongue, lips, and buccal mucosa. The discomfort is episodic, typically unilateral, and often triggered by mouth movements like eating, drinking, or grooming. Other contributing factors include concurrent oral lesions, e.g., periodontal disease, tooth resorption, teething, and environmental stress or anxiety. FOPS is considered a neuropathic pain disorder, analogous to human conditions like trigeminal neuralgia. Diagnosis relies on ruling out other causes of oral pain, as neurological examinations are usually normal. Traditional analgesics are often ineffective. Instead, antiepileptic drugs such as phenobarbital, diazepam, gabapentin, and carbamazepine have shown higher success rates, not for their anticonvulsant properties, but for their antialadenic effect, which reduces pain from non-painful stimuli. This syndrome can be recurrent and unremitting, sadly leading to euthanasia.